<clears throat> Didn't even ask, but okay, I'll take it. And man, someone's taking some time out, okay? Ten of Cups. There's someone here who's wanting a uh, happily ever after with you. This is someone who wants their end all be all with you. And they see you as their wish fulfillment. But not only that, I think you do see them as that, okay? Looks like your relationship is on a pause right now. <clears throat> someone could have put you on hold. Um, this could be someone who's taking some time out, okay, to think about what's going on. But you have a wish fulfillment, okay, with a star here. You could have had a breakup with this person, okay, but uh, you guys could have been in separation. That's why I see the pause here, right? But there's someone here who's taking a time out, <clears throat> literally pausing and seeing the things from a different point of view. I'm sorry, I'm just going to get some water. Damn my throat. Right, better. You have a wish coming through. The star is also reconciliation. But yeah, someone has a lot of hope and faith that things will work out with you. Okay, They have uh, faith in divine timing. And this is, anyways, something that is destined and fated. Okay, so yeah, there is going to be this pause or there is a pause that's going on. Okay, with you guys in separation, no contact, no communication, whatever, right? But yeah, there's definitely someone here who's trying to see things from a different perspective. And this, pro this person is someone who definitely wants their... Uh, and they want marriage. They want commitment with you for sure. Tell me more. <clears throat> I think you've already lost hope and faith that this person is coming in because they, you could have been very frustrated with the kind of hole that this person has put you on. Okay. Tell me more about Gemini. I love this. Four of Cups. See, you're bored. You're bored as fuck. You're like, dude, I mean, is something happening or not? This is stagnation um that uh, uh feeling complacent but also at the same time this is someone where you know who's like so um <clears throat> you're in that low vibrational place right now very focused on what didn't work out very focused on the past issues not being able to see the opportunities that are being presented to you i feel this person's coming in towards you okay with that cup of love apology whatever it is right they're coming back but probably because you thought you know that this person kept you on hold you lost faith etc okay but they're coming you're coming in towards you. Look, King of Wands. That's what I said, right? Someone's coming in towards you with action. This person wants you. They're zoned in on you. <clears throat> There's a reconciliation coming in. Like I said, this person wants to reunite after the separation. But whatever the separation is, right, it's going to happen after that pause. So you may feel things have ended between you and this person. Uh-uh-uh. Guess what? Nope. That was like a fake uh, ending. That wasn't, that wasn't really an ending. <clears throat> this person probably is fearing rejection also okay but i think they're coming into it i think this is you i feel you're the one who's bored not satisfied with this relationship feeling discontented you feel you don't get or you didn't uh get what you deserve you didn't get the love and attention from this person you gave it their all this person could have been someone who's constantly emotionally breadcrumbing you trying to keep you in the relationship but yeah you're very close to um you know, like, let it be a missed opportunity, you know, like, never mind. I guess that's what it is from your side. Like, it, it is what it is. You once saw a lot of potential with this person and you probably just be like, you know what, I'm just going to leave it as a missed opportunity. But guess what? They're coming in. They're coming in to reunite with you. King of Wands, they're coming in towards you. They're wanting action. And uh, they're going to tell you how much you mean to them because they're all eyes for you. <clears throat> I think this person has even put you on a pedestal, okay? They see you as a star. They don't want, dude. This person could be at a distance from you. This is long distance. This is a lot of com communication, okay? A lot of communication back and forth. But I'm getting that it's going to pick up all of a sudden. You're not going to be expecting this with the eight of wands here. Why? What did I just say? Before I just picked the cards, the tower here, it's going to be unexpected. There's going to be this shake up all of a sudden. This person has this epiphany, okay? They have like that realization that, oh, I fucked up. I need to take action. I need to step up. But for Gemini, completely lets my ass off. The tower, yeah. See, nine of pentacles, they see your worth. They see your value. They see you as financially abundant. You got your shit together. You're okay on your own. You don't need this person to be happy, you know? <clears throat> this is a lot of emotional abundance also a bit more financially but yeah they definitely see you probably you're a businesswoman you know 
or um, doesn't have to be a man or a woman, but the energies are someone, you know, who's absolutely relaxed, you know, like taking it easy, enjoying their life, you know, friends, uh, taking care of themselves, etc. But you, they see you as someone who's got that strong sense of practicality to you. Okay, like you got everything that it takes, okay? And you're okay with the nine of pentacles. You're okay at stopping at nine. You don't need marriage. You don't need commitment. You may need it, but it is not from this person, okay? Who messed up? That's what I'm saying. Eight of wands, they want to move things quick or this is just someone who's going to move things very, very quick, okay? You're not going to be expecting this, like I'm saying. <coughs> it's going from zero to 100 in like 30 seconds. If you get what I'm saying. Six of swords. All right, but I'm getting one thing. Okay, um, I feel you have already moved on. You've already left the building with the six of swords here. <clears throat> I feel you've already moved on from this person. It was forced on you. This was like a forced departure. You were forced to walk away from this person. Probably because they put you on hold for a very long time. You know, Maybe they were thinking, but you were in separation. There was no contact, no communication. And you're like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I just don't, okay? There got to be clarity and there was no clarity. And for you, it's like if it's no clarity, that means it's over. And that's what happened. Maybe you thought it was over. You moved ahead. You know, I'm getting you didn't probably get closure, but you gave yourself that closure, okay? You gave yourself the liberty to get the closure. And with the, because the 10 of wands, yeah, this was a relationship that was becoming more of a burden. You know, it was a very draining energy. It was killing you, okay? Very overwhelming energy. And you probably thought it was best for you to move forward. Maybe you never got clarity from this person, but you just gave yourself the liberty of getting the clarity in your head and you just let it go. Your thoughts, because you're hurting, right? This person could have cheated on you. They could have lied. They could have put you in a third party situation. Doesn't have to be. But three of swords is like stress, depression, hurt, pain. You're hurting bad. This person could have really hurt you, okay, big time, three of pentacles. Now they want to come in and they want to make things right with you. Maybe it was a one-sided situation before. <clears throat> there was a lack of commitment. There was a lack of um, uh, putting in that work, putting in that effort to build together, to build a strong foundation together. And that's something that's bothering you so much. You've not been able to get over it. You haven't. And you probably feel it's best to walk away, to move away. Peacefully, calmly, get out of those rocky waters, okay? But yeah, you're hurting. It could be them too. Maybe they're hurting too. But I mean, say nine of pentacles, right? So this is what I'm saying. You're, you know, I'm getting a lot of guys of you, a lot of Gemini's who's okay on their own. Like nine of pentacles. You block this person out, okay? You feel the need to protect yourself from this person. Uh, you're standing your ground, Gemini. When this person comes in with that communication, okay? It's going to be a wish fulfillment for you. It's going to be a wish come true. But I think by the time they come in, right, you're going to be good on your own. You're going to be like, I'm okay. I'm good. I don't think I need you anymore. You know, maybe you were a little clingy, needy, uh, attention seeking. Okay. But I'm getting more clingy and needy. You were very codependent on this person. Okay. And that's why this person was backing out. Uh, they were copping out. They were not making that move towards you, okay? Because probably they were dependent on you to make all, to do all the work. And here you were, you know, busting your ass, getting exhausted, feeling so codependent on them. You know, like, again, I'm getting attention-seeking, clingy, needy, insecure, you know? And now the tables have turned. Things have completely turned, okay? After this break, after this pause, everything's changed. Everything. And now you're like, no, I don't think I want to let you in anymore. You're very, very uh, defensive. More than defensive... And I'm literally getting like this person's going to message you. And I think either you've already blocked them or when they message you, right? You're going to be like, dude, why are you messaging me now? <clears throat> Your attitude towards them is more like, stay the hell away from me. You know, I'm okay. It's taken a, a very long time for me to move away from you. I've convinced myself that things are over and now don't come in. Don't come in and messing up. Because look how he's looking at you. He's looking at you as like, dude. She's, she's good on her own. Maybe this person's literally stalking you, okay? Like literally stalking the shit out of you. They're watching how you're doing you, taking care of yourself, your career, your goals, you know, enjoying yourself, enjoying the luxury. See? <clears throat> Again, nine of cups. This is, see, we have the star and the nine of cups. Gemini, you have a wish coming through for you, okay? There's definitely a wish fulfillment, a lot of healing, 
uh, this person's healed and now they're ready to get back to you. Okay, with the two of swords here, but you are blocked. You're not ready to make a decision about them. No, nope. I don't even feel that you're, you know, literally opening your eyes to the reality. You don't even want to see the thing, the reality for what it is. Because I'm getting you're so closed off from this person, very defensive. Closed off, flat out blocking this person energetically, blocking your heart chakra. Like you screwed up once, I'm not going to let you do it again. Like don't mess with me. <clears throat> you know what I'm getting with the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups? I feel this is you who's a little smug. Okay, I'm going to give you two ways. Oh, yes, this is a wish fulfillment, someone who makes you very happy. But again, I'm getting... There was a lot of codependency from your side. This person made you very, very happy. You were absolutely drained out without this person in your life again. Okay? But now you're learning to be happy on your own, Gemini. You're okay on your own. Like I said, right? That's the single independent lady card. You're in a relationship. Okay. You're not in a relationship. Okay. What I'm getting here is someone who has learned the fact that when you're happy on your own, you're happy in a relationship. But if you're not happy on your own, you can have the best relationship that you want and you still won't be happy there. <clears throat> you have no more expectations from this person. You're absolutely fine. That's them with the star you who's putting you on a pedestal, but this is you, Gemini. I feel this is you with the nine of cups here, who's in that little smug energy. I do what makes me happy. I'm gonna focus on myself, my happiness. And yeah, blocking them out. You don't want to see this person when this person comes in, right? Again, I'm getting that a lot of <coughs> protecting yourself, guarding yourself, you know, wanting to fight for what you think is right. Give me one more card. They're still coming in, dude. Knight of Swords. They're still coming in. They're going to come in and confront you. They're coming in and they're going to confront you. <clears throat> like I said, right? I'm not surprised. Page of Swords. They're stalking you. They're stalking you. Knight of Wands. You're too defensive. You don't trust issues with this person. You don't trust them one bit. You feel the need to, um, you know, like literally get your walls up when, when it comes to this person. I'm getting this person could be very in and out of your life, you know, like uh, like player like tendencies or someone who didn't want to commit, someone who was just around you when they wanted to be around you. They came in, they took what they wanted and they left. Doesn't always have to be that uh, uh that kind of the, the physical pleasure, but I'm just feeling like, you know, probably this person feels very empty without you. They're bored without you. Not more than bored, I feel this person feels very dissatisfied in their life. When you're not around, they miss you. I'm getting that realization, that awakening with that tower card that we saw. They're coming in to confront you, that's for sure, with the Knight of Swords here. Don't expect any uh, passionate communication because I don't see cups here when they want to communicate with you. Yes, they're ready for you. They're ready to take this to the next level for sure. They have a lot of passion for you, okay? Uh, they have a lot of intense feelings for you. They're zoned in on you. They want only you for sure. And they're going to come in and tell you, okay, with the Knight of Swords. But this is more like that confrontation without the emotions. This is someone who just will just say what they have to, like the truth, you know, some harsh truth. But they're going to come in and tell you how much they love you or how much, how, how much, how badly they want to make it happen. <clears throat> I just don't feel they're apologetic about it. So like, say like, you know, if they screwed up things big time, I don't see them apologizing literally like, dude, I'm really sorry I messed up. It's more like, can we make this happen? You know, I, I want you. I love you. Let's, let's take this to the next level. Okay. Are we in or out? Something like that. And you're more like, no, I'm out. <laughs> Cause I'm okay on my own. I love myself more. You know, yours, this is literally screaming with the nine of the, pentacles and the nine of cups here it's literally screaming i love myself first i don't know why i can't talk but yeah that's just me <clears throat> give me the outcome damn my throat so irritating sorry guys give me the outcome what is the likely outcome for gemini this week please what two of swords like i said you're blocking their ass out you feel the need to stand up for yourself no more mind games, no more mind fuckery. I'm not compromising, is what Gemini says. No, nope. no peaceful resolution, no compromising. I'm walking away, and that's not a compromise. That's just doing what makes me happy. That's just teaching you how you should treat me. Okay, two of swords. You're not going to be making any decision. You're going to be blocked in your mind, and you know. Two of swords is the energy of like, you know, like, okay. 
not only are you going to get blocked, but I'm also getting someone, you know, who's going to be like stuck. Okay. If not blocked, you do have blocked them. That's for sure. But I think when this person comes in, right, you're going to be probably like stuck. Like, do I want them back or do I not? A very stressful decision is what you're going to have to make. You're going to like probably think like twice about it. Four of Pentacles. You're holding back from this person. I don't see you as opening up. Two of Swords. Four of Pentacles. You're holding back. I feel this could be Four of Pentacles. This could also be them who's who's holding on very tight to you. Okay. And they're hell-bent on having this reconciliation with you. Take it two ways. Either you're holding back and you're refusing to open your eyes to reality. You cannot believe it that this person literally has come back to you. And they're giving you everything that you always wanted. Or this is you who's blocked them. Like, no. Nope. You're no more entering my life. There is no place for you in my life. <clears throat> Although there was a time when you once made me happy, but I've already moved on. I've moved on with clarity, okay? I, I gave myself the closure that I wanted, okay? And you're holding back from this person or this person is just holding too tight to you. I'm getting more this as you. I mean, I'm not getting the outcome as uh, uh, them. <clears throat> this is you holding back. Shut down, stubborn, in a state of shutdown, you know, not wanting to open up, not wanting to release. Dude, and four of pentacles is, dude, it's a very stubborn energy, okay? You cannot let this person open. I mean, you will, it's a very, you're going to have a hard time getting this person to open up. And it's accompanied by the two of swords. So that's going to be like a hard nut to crack. So cross watchers, if you're looking for a Gemini and you think, well, that knight of swords, things are going to work out. I don't think so. Maybe we'll need a little more kings there, you know, to convince that Gemini. I do like the king of wands here. That's an action taker, right? <clears throat> That's someone who knows what he wants. He's got that fiery passion in him, you know. He's that um, someone who's independent. Yeah, he's like this leader, you know, very aggressive in his energy. But yeah, you're gonna put in. You're gonna have to put in a lot of work in order to convince this Gemini to get back to you because they're good on their own. They are. And you know it. You know it. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.